which makes me kind of sad. There's a skip here. I showed you Freak Show already? Alright. Well, there's one here that I cannot do. You can actually skip over this uh, loading trigger. But I, I just don't know where you'd have to jump from. And it's not big enough of a deal for me to want to uh, put time to it. But it should be learned at some point. So once I actually get a PB, then I'll learn it. Alright, um, you set it up by standing here, running, and then jumping right at the edge. That was way too early. Also, I should grab some health, because free health fun. And I want to bring Dan as close to full as I can before the, uh, last area. There we go. I want to save with Dan at full health so I can try things and mess around a bit. I mean, yeah, I could use chance to do it too, but it's not needed. Oh, it's bad camera. If the camera starts getting wonky on you, you have to just get away from the wall and go back into it. The point of this is the camera to cooperate with you, and if it doesn't want to, then you have to reset the camera and try again. Because occasionally the camera just won't cooperate with you. Okay, didn't read my jump input, that's fine. This is actually a really good setup, and if you get the timing of it down, then there's not really a problem with it. Setup for this makes this a lot easier. What is going on? It's really close to my room actually right now. Didn't read my jump input again. I don't have the timing of this anymore, but it isn't as bad as it looks. Uh, you only take about 10 damage with each mistake, and because it's a healing thing here and you're at full health anyway, it, it's negligible the amount of health you lose. And then there's also another health vent in, um, in the second half of this, since you're not going to take any damage from the Anubises. Okay, there we go. So it's really not that bad with the setup. So, do it again. You can actually even get it earlier. So it really isn't that bad. And it's very easy to take control of. But this is one of the few areas we actually need the uh, analog stick after this uh, running jump. Okay, so yeah. Analog stick time. You want to use the analog stick to get up here. And you want to jump forward and then curve around. Like that. That was actually perfect. I'm um, kind of surprised, because I haven't done this in way too long. But yes, that actually can be a lot harder if you botch it. So it's actually worth breaking those boxes before grabbing this. Because you want to grab it and then jump downstairs before the animation ends. Because it makes it a little less... Uh, there's like normally a black screen, like this, and then it shows the cutscene. So that actually just saves you quite a bit of time, so it's worth it to do. My mom's listening to music now, cool. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. This is apparently a horrible time to uh, stream because there's a lot of loud noises and things going on around the house. So, it is what it is. It's going to happen. So, I'm going to microphone for the time being. If there's anything significant, I will uh, unmute. Well, something significant. Uh, these guys are easy. Really, really easy. I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. You are essentially invulnerable standing on the ground, swinging your sword. Because they attack above your head. <laughs> so, you just sit there crouching, and it kills them all. Now, they give you a torch here. No matter if you do have it or don't have it, you get a torch here. Every time. Uh, tested this on a file. You can get the skip and you will get a torch, which is kind of awesome. Um, grab that free health if you need it. It's there. Some Nubis here, so just go through it fast. This area is really interesting. Um, normally a bunch of Anubises will spawn. I don't know if you can see this, hopefully you can on stream. So normally a bunch of Anubises will spawn, you have to like do all this platforming and puzzle stuff. Well, that's nice and all, but we don't have time for that. So. We move that block, we move this block. Right, a little more. Hi, Anubis man. Okay, platforming's hard. Analog stick. Grab this, run against the wall. Get up here, grab that, run against the wall, grab that. It takes a little bit of practice to get that down, but it's easy. So, it shouldn't take you too long to do. Um. Oops. We're doing this in reverse order, apparently. 
And then you just go ahead and do these. It's really not that difficult. Uh, run up to them, select. Select the objects. Go from left or the right side. I think the uh, right side's actually easier. Because you don't have to move all the way across. But again, you won't have as many items as I do in your inventory. So you'll have a much easier time moving to the one you need. Um, for things where you use multiple on one object, you can actually... The second you hit X to select it, immediately hit select again, you can just keep putting everything in at once. 